Hey everyone, still in Cleveland. Today is Saturday. The time is 10.24 a.m. Like, I just woke up and I'm looking pretty rough. <laughs> so my hair's all like messy and I went to bed with my makeup on last night, but I'm sitting in my boyfriend's bedroom. He had to leave early this morning because he had to go to a CPR class because his second job requires that he be CPR certified. So I decided to stay here and sleep in because I don't think he requires nearly as much sleep as I do. I mean, I, I could sleep for 14 hours if you let me. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, uh, since our evening at the Agora, things have gotten kind of interesting. Uh, we've tried to have, you know, fun doing certain things since, you know, since I've been up here. However, uh, instead of spring, it decided to be winter again. Um, it's been cold and nasty and wet and really windy the whole time that I've been up here. And it's uh, got us really bummed out because there are certain things that we were like looking forward to doing that because we thought the weather was going to be nice. Like we we're going to go to like a really, really big, beautiful cemetery and walk around with our cameras and take pictures and hang out and stuff. And it's one of our favorite places to go. But nope, no. <laughs> The cemetery is probably a mudslide because it's like 30 degrees outside and it's rainy and nasty and so in fact, uh, in fact yesterday um, it actually started snowing and the day before that we were at a ball game. We were trying to, we went to a baseball game. It was going to be the first uh, game of the baseball season for the minor league team here which is called the Captains and they didn't end up canceling the game however uh, Brian and I were there for maybe half an hour, if that, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, I don't know. And we had a couple of beers, and it was just so nasty and windy, and there was precipitation, it was freezing, and, like, the, in the women's bathroom, there was water all over the floor because of, like, just the, the stuff coming in on people's feet, I guess. And the toilet seats were so <laughs> cold. It was horrible. Like, I actually, like... I, 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 I like I made up my mind like that I was gonna like basically beg him to for us to leave like at that point when I, when I realized that like oh god if I go every time I come to the bathroom I'm gonna have to sit on this so <laughs> but yeah he decided for, for the for us to leave like not very long after we got there because it was just it was just unbearable uh, his parents stayed for a while after we left and then they finally got to where they just couldn't take it anymore and they left. But the ball game went on, and the captains won, so anyway. But yeah, it started snowing yesterday. Now, this is, what day is this? April the 8th? I'm not sure what day this is. I feel so stupid. I apologize, but anyway, uh, get a load of this crap. I'm going to show you this. Hang on. to show you the nasty snow outside. Look at that. And this is like almost the middle of April. <sighs> I mean, yeah, this is Cleveland, and yeah, we're right next to ne right next to the Great Lakes. But this is extremely unusual, and it's very disappointing. Like, why couldn't it be 70 degrees outside like it was last week? This is bullshit. <laughs> so, yep, and there I am in my PJs. All right. So yeah, that's what's going on right now. And uh, when he gets back, I'm not sure what the plan is. The plan was to go to the West Side Market and then go over to the Great Lakes Brewery and just kind of hang out, have a beer, just you know, just kind of have a day out. Uh, they plowed the road up over here, so I'm assuming that the roads are pretty much clear everywhere. It's only like six inches of snow, it looks like. Maybe not even that, maybe four inches. But it's enough to be pretty, but not so much that it's going to really keep you from being able to get out and take care of some things. So I think, you know, what I would like to do is first to still try and follow through with our plans today. But uh, I guess I'll have to see how he feels about it when he gets back. Because uh, he does have his mom with him today, because she works there too. It's just for his second job. It's also her second job too. And so he's going to have spent the morning around those creepy, nasty rubber CPR dummies. And have to listen to a bunch of boring stuff and... And take a quick written test, and he also has to sit in the car with his mom. So, see how he feels when he gets back. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I have got to go brush my teeth because I've got like real bad stink mouth because it's morning and I might put some waterless shampoo in my hair. Oh, a car just went down the street. Was that them? No, it's not them. It's way too early. And God, that person was going really fucking fast for like it's the way it is outside. Like they were like doing 30 and this is a dead end street too. So but anyway, yeah, I need to get myself cleaned up and get dressed and uh, and I guess I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Uh, yeah, I'll try to get some video of me and him hanging out doing some stuff today because nobody's seen him. <laughs> so uh, he's a little bit shy. I mean, he's a sweetie, you know, but he's he's shy about the camera. So I haven't really like pushed it on him. And so, but today I'm just going to be like, look, I really want to get some video of you and I hanging out and, you know, and have some, some stuff, to, some video to look out and look at and, you know, and remember our good times later on or whatever. So yeah, I need to shut up and uh, get ready. And I'm kind of wondering if his dad is downstairs, like, wondering why, like, why is my son's girlfriend up there talking to herself? <laughs> now, he's probably, like, catching up on some stuff at work. He does it on Saturday sometimes. So, oh, you know what? Actually, if I get ready and I have enough time before they get back, what I might do is actually get one of the snow shovels and clear, clear off the driveway. I think they'd probably appreciate that, so... Bye. This is the boyfriend making ribs because he's talented. <laughs> Brian, tell us about your sauce. Well, I use Jack Daniels. I use honey. I where's use... the Where's the bottle of Jack? Is it still sitting there? Nice. Okay. What else? And I use sesame seed. The little black sesame seeds? Yes. So we have black spots in our teeth for like the next 48 hours? Yes. <laughs> and they will be done in about not even five minutes. That's awesome. <laughs> and then we have beer and ribs. I'm drinking wine. All right. <laughs> There's the bratty puppies. There's the rotten puppies. There's the dumb doggies. See, this is Amber. And that one's Maya. And Maya, what do you like to eat? What's your favorite snack? Shit. What is it? What is it? Shit. She eats poop. That's right. Shit. Bratty dogs! The bratty dogs! <laughs> Wanna go outside? Wanna go outside and eat shit? Wanna go outside? Oh, oh, oh! Go outside and eat some nice frozen shit like a fudge sickle. You wanna go too? Wanna go outside? Yeah, huh? go outside because once, go outside? Okay. once we get done, we're leaving and you're gonna be inside. Okay, well, do we need to like grab her and put her outside? Yeah. Alright. I'm getting ready to have to force your butt outside. Let's see if I can do this while I hold my camera. <laughs> go on. Go outside. Go on. Go out there and go pee, because we're going to be gone for a while later. There we go. Okay. Alright, so we have ribs and we have alcohol. And that's all we need. Oh, and we have South Park too. That's also an essential. <laughs> so, that's what's happening right now. Oh, and Brian's mom made a cake. And there's junk food all over this counter right here. Some chocolate things, more chocolate things, some Cracker Jacks, some uh, Jolly Ranchers. A peanut butter chocolate thing, Girl Scout cookies. My, my. So it's almost time to eat, so uh, I'll check back with you later. Bye.
Back from Cleveland. I'm home, as you can see. I'm in my in my room. So, anyway, yeah. After the night out, uh, hanging out, listening to music, and watching music, and dancing, and having fun. Uh, actually, this morning I went with Brian and his parents up to uh, their church, and now they are Byzan Byzantine Orthodox, which is, I guess, is Catholic basically. Um, but being that his mom comes from a Ukrainian family, uh, they're that they're a particular type of t particular branch of Catholic. So anyway, uh, I've been to church with them a few times before, and everybody there is like really nice. Um, the priest is a nice guy, but sometimes he says stuff in his sermons that just totally rub me the wrong way. So anyway, today was some kind of big to do with the in the Ukrainian tradition, uh, having to do with. Um, the follow, following up of Easter Sunday. So today there was some kind of feast thing and people, you know, we fixed food and stuff in the kitchen at the church and after, after the service was over, everybody came over into the reception hall and sat and we had like ham and uh, kielbasa and there was sauerkraut, potatoes, um, beets. Uh, there was like, a, a nice like a list of, there was some pretty good food. There was also like actually like people had made cakes and stuff. Um, for dessert and actually there had also been a christening that morning and so uh, there was this huge giant cake that had that had been decorated with like the baby's name and the date and everything and it says had some kind of blessing or something scribed on it with the icing 
So yeah, there was that. And I had my camera with me because I thought it would be a really interesting opportunity to catch a little bit of uh, tradition in action, so to speak, even though I'm not Catholic and I do not subscribe to organized religion at all. I think it's kind of evil. But anyway, to each their own. So anyway, um, I mean, even though I don't subscribe to it, being that I, you know, my boyfriend is Catholic, I still feel as though it's fine if I, you know, I still, I still would like to assimilate to it. So, yeah. But, uh, I actually didn't get anything on film today, though, because uh, I felt like, you know, I mean, I couldn't find anybody who was okay with talking on camera about, like, what they were eating or what the, the celebration today was about and stuff like that, and uh, I just kind of felt like, you know, I kind of, like, made a judgment call, like, you know, I need to just put the fucking camera away. <laughs> I'm still, like, like, I finally kind of realized that, like, I'm a newcomer here, and, you know, I don't want to be, uh, suddenly be known as the, as someone who's kind of a nuisance or annoying or who's going to ask to, like, videotape a person, so uh, I felt like I just, you know, I just felt like it would be bad form, and, you know, I just didn't want to piss anybody off because, you know, I do want these people to like me, and, you know, I do enjoy going there and stuff, so I just, since I'm still kind of, like, new, I didn't want to piss anyone off, and I didn't want to embarrass my boyfriend either, so, yeah, I decided to put the camera away, <laughs> so, <clears throat> yeah, I'm home, and I miss Brian very much, like, I cried half the ride home, uh, which was uneventful, by the way, no bad traffic, no wrecks, or no nothing, just a little bit of rain, that's it. So, I left there, it was like 30 degrees outside, and there was four or five inches of snow on the ground. And when I got here, when I got home and got out of the car, it's like in the 60s, and it's humid, and it's... It's like springtime. Like, the grass is bright green, and all the trees are getting their little leaf buds on them. And while I was away, some, of the some more flowers started blooming. And, uh... It's just like such a contrast. Like I actually like got hot and had to take my jacket off. I stopped at, at the liquor store so I could get a bottle of wine on the way home because I don't know if my mom had stocked any alcohol in the house. And usually after a long, uh, long car ride like that, the first thing I want to do when I get home is put my feet up and have something to drink. So <laughs> that's just my routine. But anyway, so yeah, I'm back home in my room. Oh, well, I was at church earlier today. Um, it, you know, the subject comes up occasionally about me and Brian, like, wanting to get married or whatnot. Um, I don't know if we're technically officially engaged. Um, I don't have an engagement ring at this, at the moment. Um, and really, uh, we had, we had a plan, actually, to get married this Halloween. But that got screwed up because, uh, of money. And that's the, always going to be the number one thing that screws up those kinds of plans. Money screwed it up because we were going to each use a portion of our tax returns to pay for a deposit for a place to live so I could move up there. And then, like, he had bills he had to pay. Then I ended up having to pay a huge fee to the hospital for my surgery. And I ended up just, so after that, I didn't have enough left over to bother with trying to put a deposit down in a place. So I went ahead and just paid off, like, the six-month premium on my car insurance. Which I'm kind of glad I did because it's off my shoulders now. But, you know, we were going to get married on Halloween. And we were planning, like, a nice, like, I guess, uh, a nice but practical wedding. We were going to have, like, you have a Halloween wedding, and it was going to be, we were going to try to have it, you know, an actual wedding, actual reception, and and try to keep it, you know, relatively inexpensive. So, but anyway, those plans got screwed up. And so now we're kind of back to square one, and we decided that let's, we're going to plan, like, when a wedding is actually going to be after I've moved up there. But anyway, at church this morning, um, apparently, like, the, like some of the people at the church tend to, like, gossip, especially the little old Ukrainian ladies. <laughs> uh, because, um, before I got the camera out, <laughs> you know, when people, people were comfortable with approaching me, um, I was standing, like, in the middle of a, like, a intersection between some tables, and here comes the little old ladies. And, like, one of them's got a walker, one's got a cane, and there's a couple more of them, and, and they kind of, like, they kind of, they surrounded me. <laughs> and, and they all were looking at me like they wanted something, they were, they wanted to say something, so I hung around and was, and, you know, and I figured, you know, whatever it is they want, I'm not going to get out of it. 
<laughs> and so I just let them go ahead and just ask their questions. And, and they were asking, like, the first thing out of this one lady's mouth. And I knew she was going to ask me this because Brian actually had kind of warned me, like, a couple months ago. He said that uh, she actually pestered him and she, he said she got kind of aggressive with him about it. And she goes, she goes, she, of course, she had a kind of a, a little bit of a Ukrainian accent. But she, uh, she said, uh, so when and where is the wedding? Is it going to be here? Is it going to be somewhere else? And when are you going to let people know? And I, my immediate reaction was, I was a little, I was, <laughs> I mean, I, I was, I was a little tickled by it, but at the same time, I was, I felt pressured, you know, and, and so I just kept it neutral. I, I said, I said, well, you know, we really don't know yet. I said, we have so much planning to do, and, you know, I live in, I live in Louisville, and he lives here, and, and it thinks just with, you know we have to give it a little bit of time. I said, but I but I tell you what I said, when we are really nailing down our plans and we know exactly when and where you know the wedding's being planned, you'll be the first one that we tell. <laughs> and she seemed satisfied with that. And a couple other ladies were little old ladies were just kind of were like talking to me and asking me just general questions. And I think they're just kind of sizing me up because they're still getting to know me. They've known Brian since he was a little kid, like since he was in diapers. But, like, they don't know me, and so they're kind of sizing me up, and I'm sure they're going to go home and get on the phone and gossip with each other about, like, whether or not I'm right for him or whether or not I fit in at the church. And, <sighs> and I'm sure they're going to, they're gonna like, talk and they're like, well, it's time that Brian got married. I'm sure they're going to be, like, spouting all that stuff to each other, and it's just so funny. I mean, I'm sure they're just little go gossipy little old ladies, and they're pretty cute, you know, but... <sighs> They swarmed me today, and I couldn't get out of it, so. <laughs> I just thought that was really funny. So anyway, oh yeah, while I was in Cleveland, I got a few cool things. Hang on, check this out. Check this out, check this out. Hang on. Oh, that's had that used, actually. Brian got used for that a couple months ago, actually, but it's been sitting in my car. But yeah, here's what I bought at the Best Buy. Ha ha ha! <laughs> now I've got it. Yes. So, and also, I found some used DVDs. There is a uh, bookstore up there in a shopping center that's going out of business, and they are getting rid of all their, like, stuff. And so I found a couple of used... DVDs for like a buck and so like I had to had to get up to a certain amount to use my debit card and so I grabbed this too so that's actually a good movie I actually like Patrick Swayze I think it's kind of a shame that he died young because he's actually a pretty good actor so anyway and also there was like this little uh, pagan and or Wiccan pagan Wiccan they're kind of really not technically the same thing I don't know but anyway little store up there and we went in. Go. Oh shit, they got folded. Oh well. I got some bumper stickers. Follow the moon. And blessed be. And I also got myself some incense. Because I do light candles and incense a lot. So. Well, that's pretty much it. I'm home and now I get to... Uh, tackle the mountain of luggage behind me on my bed. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pick up my clothes for tomorrow and get ready for work. <sighs> Technically, I'm not supposed to go to work tomorrow because uh, after my surgery, I was told, don't go back to work until the doctor releases me for work. And my appointment is on Wednesday. So, like, I could totally blow off tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday if I wanted to, but... I don't see a reason to do that. I mean, I feel fine. I'm just going to go to work. So I need the paid days anyway. And also, I'm not trying to piss off my boss because I actually miss a lot of work. Uh, mainly just because of my allergies and my asthma. And also because, of I mean, I used to miss work because of, like, really bad, painful, heavy periods. But not anymore. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> Okie doke. Well, I've been talking for quite a while. So and this is going to be a long video. I can tell. Crap. All right. I'll shut up now. I'll see y'all later.